Hello again, this is again Luke Thomas and I'm again speaking about nail pigmentation. In this lecture I will focus on the possible help of digital follow-up in case of doubtful nail pigmentation. We all know that making an accurate diagnosis of melanomyia striata is difficult. It has been shown that uh, dermoscopy can help to better select the case to be submitted to biopsy, but a melanonychia striata is a rare enough syndrome to allow the clinician to secure his attitude by some follow-up. And we believe that digital follow-up can help uh, to distinguish lesion with a malignant and lesion with a benign behavior over time. Of course, many equipments are available to perform digital follow-up, and I'm not going to speak about that. What is known, however, on previous skin uh, work is that some changes observed over time in patients with high risk can help the clinician to make an accurate diagnosis like in this case and this is safe for the patient since the diagnosis of the lesions when malignant is performed very 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 early. On nail pigmentation we have observed similar features. This was, for example, the case of a male patient with a longitudinal melanonychia. This lesion was not considered as atypical enough at baseline examination to perform an immediate biopsy, but we propose follow-up. And this is the dermoscopical image after one year and a half. And you can observe that the lesion has changed. And this change led us to propose a biopsy of the neon matrix and to make the diagnosis of a very early acral lentiginous melanoma. On the basis of these preliminary observations, we decided to include a uh, a series of consecutive nail pigmentation in our institution. 131 patients were included and uh, you will see that some features can be uh, observed in the uh, over time in these patients. Of course when the clinical image and the dermoscopical image is in favor of a malignant tumor, like in this case, there is no question about follow-up. Immediate biopsy should be taken. This is the case in typical uh, acrolentigious melanoma with, on dermoscopy, the presence of irregular pattern of the longitudinal lines. You can see that on the clinical view, this image was not strikingly in favor of melanoma, but demoscopy made the diagnosis. In this case of pigmented Bowen's disease, uh, the lesion is atypical enough to consider an immediate biopsy. So we advise that in case of atypical lesion, no delay should be uh, given to the patient to perform the biopsy, and immediate biopsy is the safest way. But dealing with sub hemorrhage is difficult. Difficult because we all know that malignant tumors can bleed significantly, and we all know that it is impossible to see anything through this thick layer of uh, blood underneath the nail plate. So follow-up of this patient is very interesting. In our series, we observe 36, 36 clearances of uh, the pigmentation, but in one case, the lesion didn't clear off and it showed uh, composite nevus. So this is a typical case of uh, a subangual hemorrhage with normal evolution showing the disappearance of the pigmentation over time. But in this case of subangual hemorrhage, 
we didn't observe a complete uh, uh, disparation of the uh, of the lesion, and this was uh, enough to consider a biopsy. Fortunately, in this case, it was not a malignant tumor. Grayish pigmentation on dermoscopy is in favor of uh, lentigo, lentiginosis, of ethnic type pigmentation, of uh, trauma induced pigmentation, of um, drug induced uh, pigmentation. But uh, follow up can be also proposed to these patients. We observed that uh, the lesions were stable on many cases and uh, we also observed that in case of logier utsika disease uh, some other bands and some clearance of some of the bands was also observed but one case followed for two years showed a very striking change over time and this is the uh, the case you see this crash pigmentation and you see that after two years the lesion changed. We also observed a partial erosion of the nail plate and the biopsy uh, disclosed the presence of an in situ equal lentiginous melanoma. But the most important uh, patients to be followed are the patients with a regular pattern of the longitudinal lines. We have shown that this pattern is usually associated with uh, melanocytic nevi of the nail matrix, but uh, we included 47 cases of patients with uh, regular longitudinal lines, and in four cases we have observed during the observation time uh, significant changes. Uh, these changes we are in favor of melanoma in three cases and only uh, two are shown here. This is the first case. You see significant enlargement of the lesion in a very short period of time, less than three months. And uh, in this case, you have already seen, you see dramatic change of the pigmentation after uh, one year and a half. We also included in this study different cases, ethnic type pigmentation, no change was observed over time of the followed lines, but these patients uh, showed additional bands on additional nails. We also included drug-induced pigmentation, no change was seen, and we included two cases of pigmented onychomycosis and clearance after the treatment was observed. This is a case of onychomycosis and you see that after six months and the uh, complete clearance of the lesion after treatment you see that the nail is cured. We proposed this algorithm. In case of longitudinal nail pigmentation the first evaluation decides if we have an atypical or a non-atypical pigmentation. If the lesion is atypical at first evaluation, surgical biopsy has to be performed. If the lesion is not atypical or if the dermoscopic features are in favor of subungual hemorrhage at first evaluation, we propose a four-month control. If the subungual hemorrhage is cleared or partially cleared, it's, it's a good sign and uh, the follow-up can be uh, suppressed. But if the subungual hemorrhage is still present at the same position, then a surgical biopsy is better. In case of non-atypical uh, melanonychia striata, we propose to make a four-month control if there is no change, the follow-up can be uh, switched to a yearly follow-up. And in case of change, at four months, at one year, two years, and, and so on, a surgical biopsy should be performed. In case of that, like in this case, indeed, 
a surgical biopsy of the nail matrix is needed. I want to thank again my co-workers and I thank you all for your attention. Goodbye.